Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am your host the Psychonaut and today I thought I would stop making fun of Frank Miller's bad work and talk about another writer who is not doing Batman justice. Okay, that's a little harsh, but what I mean is this. Frank Miller wrote some of the best Batman stories to date and that kind of fell into the crazy side of things afterwards, but this next writer, well, I have no idea what the hell he's doing with the Batman title. So let's dive into the Batman run of Tom King. Okay, you see, Batman and the New 52 had a really good treatment. We got the writer of Batman Black Mirror to write the continuity of Batman, and it was amazing. From Batman the Court of Owls all the way to Batman Bloom. But what about Batman Volume 4 and 5? They were so confusing and not cool. Ugh. Shut up. Yes, it was. It was amazing, complex, and modern with allegories of real-life threats. So shut your stupid face, Marvel fan. Oh my god, I am gonna get so much hate for that. Holy shit. But yes, Scott Snyder's run of Batman with Greg Capullo was fantastic to no end. So when Rebirth happened and we got a new writer and an artist, I thought, cool, a new take on Batman. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Story. That's, uh, that's what went wrong. Alright, to elaborate, the concepts are really cool. On paper, the idea of each arc seems like it's a really cool and fun way to do Batman if a better writer was doing it. Sorry, Tom King, but the dialogue you write makes me want to puke in a bag, then take that bag to Frank Miller, have him shit in it, and then give it to Alan Moore, who then tosses it in my face with the fury of a thousand PSI. It's a, it's a weird joke, honestly. Huh. So is the repeating dialogue and the cringe worth fucking moments in this first volume that brings, that make me want to just, ugh. I made a shitty video some time ago uh, talking about like the first issue of Batman of the Rebirth and how I thought the story was going to go. That honestly would have been a better story than what I got. Plus, not only is there repeating dialogue throughout the first volume and second and third, which is ongoing, but so are the story arc's title. Look, I am Gotham, I am Suicide, I am Bane. Like, what the fuck? It's so stupid, like, ah. Oh. Hey, you know what else is stupid? Okay, the artist who kicks off Batman Rebirth Volume 1 is David Finch, and he is awesome. I love his art. It ain't no Capullo, but that's the whole point. Have something new to the title that works. His art works. But then in Volume 2, Riley Rosmo and Michael Janin, I don't know how to, I think I screwed up those names, but whatever, they take over and it's jarring as fuck. It's so weird. I don't like the shift, honestly. It's bothersome in a continuity line. Now, I don't know if it's because David Finch is busy with other projects or whatever, but thank God he is back for the I Am Bane story arc. Never go away, David. Please, never. So, honestly, I prefer Detective Comics way better than this Batman title for its interesting story and take on characters and how they don't have stupid-ass dialogue. But, whatever. Would I recommend this volume to people to buy? Not really, no, and it really hurts for me to say that because Scott's run on Batman was so good that I want everyone to read it, while this run is me more hoping it's going to get better in the future, and then I can fully recommend it. So I guess buy it if you never read the New 52 run, and then enjoy this because you didn't read a good run, so you know, you have nothing to base it off of, and you're just going to be like, oh, whatever. But if you did read the New 52 run, don't buy this yet. Just ask your nerdy friend for the cliff notes or to fill you in because honestly, it doesn't matter so far. God, can you imagine when the crossover event happens with The Flash and Batman? Like, half of it's going to be written by Tom King. Ugh.